We are building the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes plus abs with this circuit style strength session today. Get your water bottle, get your towel, get your weight, and let's get strong. Now, before we get into our warm up, you will see that I have my box out here. We're gonna use that for a few of the exercises. In fact, we're gonna use it for uh, elevated glute bridges. So if you have your box, your exercise bench, sturdy chair, couch, bed, something like that, you can use that for those exercises. However, if you do not have that, I'm gonna have a modification on screen without the box. Another thing you'll see that I have that I introduced quite a while ago in one of our workouts are these little balance pods. We're gonna use these today for some heel elevation work that is going to actually target the quads a little bit more and the hamstrings in the exercise that we're gonna do um, that with. We've got squats and then Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna add these on. If you don't have those, no worries. You can do it without that and that is totally fine. I just like these, they add a little bit of variation now you can also substitute these if you have some books for some elevation that you don't mind putting your feet on. And then also if you have the flat bottom dumbbells, you can use those as well and just put your feet up on the bars. Now again, just make sure you use the heavier ones so they're not rolling around and of course just use caution if you're using those. But with that, I'll leave a link for these little balance pods if you're interested in those. They're a super inexpensive addition to your workout collection that can add a lot of good variation into your training. So with that, let's go ahead and get into our warm-up, and that is we get through the warm-up. I'm gonna give you some tips to uh, follow as we get through our workout to make sure you are maximizing our 40 minutes together today. And with that, we're gonna start with a low sumo squat, and then we're gonna take it up nice and high. So we're gonna take it down, and then as we come up, reach towards the sky, and then down. Good, keeping that chest up. Good, we wanna make sure we're getting the hams, the quads, and the glutes warm because that is really where our focus is gonna be, as well as the abs towards the end of this session. But the abs are gonna be working, and the, well, abs and the core will be working all throughout our workout today. Two more, here's two. We're gonna keep it low on this next one, so hold it down. Elbows come right there above your knees. Start to open up those hips a little bit, keeping it low, keeping your bum down, and just rocking side to side here. Good, we're gonna hold it for about three more, and then we're gonna go into a staggered good morning. Two, and one, bring it up. So with this staggered stance, good morning, one leg is gonna come out, hands on the hips, drive your hips to the wall behind you. Did I say your hip was gonna come out? If I did, I meant your leg. I felt like I said hip too many times in that. <laughs> now I'm like, what did I say? Good, as you come down, that chest coming parallel to the floor, back is staying flat, we're gonna do about three more and then we're gonna switch it up. Here's three, two more, two, and then that other leg comes forward and we'll continue on here. One, switch it up, other leg comes out and let's begin down. So for today's training, this is a hypertrophy style workout to help us build that definition in the legs and the glutes. So what you wanna focus on, lift moderately heavy here. We are going to be um, doing a lot of compound exercises. Again, that's gonna work the hams and quads at the same time. The glutes are gonna be involved as well as the core. So this really is gonna, it's probably gonna get your heart rate up. This is gonna be a really good lower body workout. It also help you build strength. But with that said, make sure you're working at your own pace, focusing on form and full range of motion. Last one here, then we're gonna finish out with quad pulls. So with quad pulls, just bring that heel to bum. Hold it for a second and then switch it up. Now with our training today, we have four total circuits. Three are gonna target the glutes, quads, and hamstrings. That final circuit is going to be all about the abs. Four circuits, or I'm sorry, four exercises. Uh, we're gonna repeat twice in each circuit. Working for 45, resting for 20, and then after we finish that, we'll have 45 seconds of rest after each circuit. Three more, and then we're gonna get ready to go into our first exercise. So first exercise, again, lift moderately heavy. Challenge yourself today. We are gonna do a squat tap. So what that's gonna look like is we're gonna have one dumbbell on one side of our body. The opposite leg for whatever, wherever your dumbbell is at, we're gonna bring that leg in to tap. So grab your weight, let's get ready, let's get strong, and let's do this. All right, so bringing that dumbbell up onto your shoulder, we're gonna get ready to squat it out in five, four, three, two, 
and one. So squat it down. As you come up, bring that leg into tap. And then right back out and squat. Keeping your chest up, keeping your back flat. And what I mean by back flat is as we squat down, you don't wanna round your back, you don't wanna arch it. And make sure keeping that uh, good posture. Go down and up. You're gonna feel that leg with the dumbbell, with that side with the dumbbell, really starting to work here. We do have some unilateral work as well, where we're gonna work one side, you can kinda see a little bit more than the other, but then don't worry, we're gonna switch it up. Almost there, three, two, and one. 20 seconds, we're gonna do that same thing, same side. Now with your dumbbell up on your shoulder, use your shoulder here for a little bit of support so you're not just holding onto the dumbbell and putting a lot of pressure onto your wrist. So you can just kinda uh, let that dumbbell rest on your shoulder a bit and then control it with your hand here. Going again, second set, final set for this side. Here we go, bring it down, tap it in. Keeping that chest up. Good. Whew. Now with this squat, we are working those three major muscle groups that I talked about. The quads, the hands, and the glutes all together now. And it's, of course, the core is working too, but really working to build that strength and definition right now. Almost there, and then we're gonna switch it up. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, so switching it over, other side, two sets like that. 10 seconds out. So start with that good posture. Weight is in the heels. We're gonna bring that leg in to tap and meet the other side. Here we go, three, two, and one. So squat it down and tap. Nice job. Really think about, as you come up, push that floor away. And as you think about pushing that floor away, you're gonna feel those muscles tighten up and activate even more so we can work deeper into those muscles. So really think about that. Make that mind-muscle connection as we train today. So again, you can get the most out of our 40 minutes. Whew, here it is, three, two, and one. Nice, huh. okay. One more set like that. Starting out strong with the squats today. You're gonna get a break from squats though after this. And then I think you're gonna miss the squats when you find out the next exercise. <laughs> we'll see though. Getting ready to go. Last set here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down and then tap. Think about pushing that floor away. Keep that tempo up. Try to keep moving, so don't hold it too long here. No, move on down, back to that squat, and then back up. 10 seconds, then we're gonna bring it down to the ground. Here it is, three, two, and one. Awesome, all right, next exercise. I'm gonna lower my weight a little bit. This is a challenging exercise. You may find you don't even need to use weight and I promise you the hamstring is gonna feel it. We are gonna work a long lever single leg glute bridge. So bring it down to the mat, getting ready to go here. You can also do a kickstand where that heel stays on the ground and let's begin. So long lever, we're up, squeeze, and then down. Good, hold it up, squeeze. Make sure that weight's staying in the heels. Now, when you're doing a single leg, you can kind of bring that leg over a little bit closer to your center of gravity to help you get those hips up. Almost there. 
Good, here's three, two, and one. Oh, nice job. Oh, breathing, quick recovery. We're gonna go back into that same side. Oh, here we go. Three, two, and one. Lift and lower. So again, if you're taking that kickstand option, make sure this other leg is just there for a little bit of support because we really are trying to isolate that hamstring on one side right now. Glutes are working a little bit in there too, but with this long lever position, it really goes for those hamstrings. And I'm sure you can tell. It's like, whoa, oh my. We got it though, almost there. We're gonna switch it up in three, two, and one, nice. All right, resting it out here. We're just gonna switch it over to the other side, lifting and lowering. So again, you've got the kickstand option if you wanna leave your heel down. If not, take that leg out for that long lever. Breathing, going here in three seconds. Here's two and one. Lift, squeeze, and down. Make sure you hold it up for just a second at the top, feel that contraction, and then bring it down. And with this long lever position, you will notice your hips are not gonna get too high off of the ground, maybe a fist height up off of the ground. So it's okay, you don't have to think about trying to over lift yourself here. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. Rest it out, 20 seconds. Last and final set. So long lever position, we're 10 out. Leg out for kickstand or leg up, going here in three. Here's two, and let's lift. And down, good. Now make sure too, when you're lifting, that you are not arching your back. So still think about keeping a nice straight line with your back. I have the best news probably that you've heard so far today. That is, we're gonna get a longer break after this, okay? We've got 45 seconds to rest after this and we are almost there. Oh. I tell you, when we work quads, hamstrings, and glutes, we're not gonna go easy. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job, enjoy your 45 seconds. I'm gonna tell you all about circuit two. Circuit two is actually where we're gonna use the box. So if you have your box, your chair, your bench, your bed, your couch, any of those things, make sure to have those nearby. We're actually gonna start though with a goblet squat. So we're gonna use one heavy dumbbell. Then we're gonna move it on to the feet ele elevated glute bridge. I'm just gonna get my stuff ready because I wanna make sure that I am ready to go. So grab your heavy weight for glute bridge, get that box ready. We've got about 10 seconds out. All right, bringing that weight up. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go, goblet squat down and up. Now when you think about the goblet squat, just like we did when we started with our squats, and I said, think about pushing that floor away with your feet. Right here, as you press up, think about pushing that floor away. Contract those leg muscles even more. Push, 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 and up, good. Down, chest is up, back is flat. Whew. Almost there. Now the goblet squat isolates the quads a little bit more. So we get a little bit more emphasis there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Rest it out, breathe it out, adjust weight if you need to. Remember, moderately heavy. We are still challenging ourselves for that full 45 seconds. So make sure that the weight doesn't feel too light. Dumbbells up, we're getting ready to squat. Here it is in three, two, 
And one, final set, goblet squat. Now with this dumbbell in front, and as those legs start to get tired, make sure that dumbbell doesn't pull you forward. So still think about keeping that good posture. Shoulders rolled down and back. And elbows tucked in. We're not flaring our elbows here with the goblet squat. Keep them tucked. Over halfway. Now we're gonna get ready to grab the box, box next. Timer is ticking. This is three, two, and one. Nice, all right, this is where we've got our elevated glute bridge. I'm actually gonna use one dumbbell on this one. We will need this for these two exercises here. I'm gonna drop my box a little bit lower. Give me a little bit more of a platform. Dumbbell is on the hips if you're using that. Bring it down, feet go up. Now, if you are just doing the glute bridge on the ground, totally fine. Make sure you're squeezing and holding at the top. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go, elevated glute bridge. Lift and squeeze, and then down. Now this elevation is gonna give you a much greater range of motion than if our feet were on the ground. So that's why you're really gonna start to feel this in the glutes as well as the hamstrings. Weight stays in the heels, knees in line with toes. Come on, keep lifting, keep squeezing. You're almost there. Short break and we'll go right back into it. Here's three, two, and one. Oh. Oh, breathing. We're gonna get ready for that second set. So just keep it here, enjoy yourself. <laughs> All right, three seconds, here's two and one. Let's lift and squeeze and down, good. Now as this starts to get tough, I just want you to remember, building strong legs is like building the, strong, the foundation to a strong house. Having this, these strong legs, strong core is going to be so beneficial, not only in your strength training journey, but also in life, I promise you. So just keep pushing, remember to go heavy. <sighs> Almost there. And I'm telling you, the burn is worth it, okay? Three, two, and one. Oh. All right, we are gonna keep the legs up. We're gonna keep this uh, glute bridge going. However, we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna keep the muscle under tension longer by doing a slow lower. So getting ready to lift here in three, two, and one. So here we go, lift it up, squeeze, hold it. Now lower with me slow. Follow my tempo. Here's four, three, two, one. Bring it up, we're gonna hold it up. We're gonna take it down for eight. So start lowering, start lowering. There's four, three, two, one, drive it back up, hold it. Okay, we're gonna lower for eight, six, two, and one, bring it up. Okay, lower it for eight, come on, last eight. Four, three, two, one. Rest it out for a second. One more set like that, and then we're done with the glute bridge here. <laughs> so, you got it, we go in three, here's two, and one, so lift it up, follow my tempo down, okay? So hold it, now eight, seven, good. Here's four, three, two, one, lift it up, hold it, lower it down, eight, come on, six, four, two, one, Ho -ho. you got it, remember, we are working to get strong, so it is tough. Lower it down, come on, there's four, three, two, one. Oh, last one, bring it up, hold it. Now, final eight, six, four, three, two, one. Oh, dumbbell off to the side, we're bringing it up. We're going right into a rear lunge, a squat to rear lunge. 
modification, you're doing a squat to alternating lateral leg lift. So grab your dumbbells for this. Whew. Got about five, I am losing my hair. It is all over the place. All right, so squat to rear lunge. Here we go, suitcase squat. So dumbbells down. As we come up, step it back. Good, back into a squat, switch legs with that lunge. And back, now modification. You're gonna squat down, lift that leg out to the side, back to the squat, and then switch it up. So just keep working through this here. We're about halfway. Chest is up, almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Nice work, breathe it out. 15 seconds, one more set like that. And then that's when we get that longer 45 seconds before moving on to circuit three. So squat to rear lunge in three, two, and one. Here we go, squat it down. Suitcase squat and lunge, good. Now, when we've got the squat, we've got the lunge. Again, we've got the quads, glutes, and hamstrings all working together here to power you through this. Keep that chest up. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. Oh, enjoy the break. All right, 45 seconds. We're moving on to round three. Now, round three, we're done with the box so we can get the box out of here. Round three is where we're gonna use our balance pods. So if you have that, or if you have those, grab them. Whew. We're gonna start out. We won't need them yet, we won't need them yet, but we're gonna start out with a single leg Romanian deadlift. You always have the option to take this as a kickstand deadlift as well. So just a little bit of balance here in that back leg. I'm getting ready. Five seconds, two sets on one, two sets on the other. Here it is in three, two, and one. So take it down nice and slow. Keep those hips square and then squeeze. Now this single leg, Romanian deadlift, hams, are a working back of the leg. So what I want you to think about to make that mind muscle connection. So as you take it down right here, when you feel that, that stretch down the hamstring, that's when you start to squeeze back up, stand back up, tighten it up, squeeze the glutes. And then we go again. Good. Almost there. This one's tough. Oh, you got it. Here's three. Two, and one. Nice, one more set on this side. This one is such a good exercise because we've got the unilateral work, meaning we really are targeting just that one side. All of our focus, all of our weight can go on that side. And we're working balance as well. So you can feel those stabilizer muscles activating as well as the core again coming into play. Last set here for this side. We go in three, two, here we go. So take it down nice and slow. Hips stay square. The Romanian deadlift, because it is such a slow moving exercise, we're not gonna get many reps. So when we're doing this exercise, really keep your focus to make sure that you've got that form and full range of motion spot on so that every rep is getting 100%. You're, you're maxing that out every time. Again, it's more the quality of your reps than the quantity. This is gonna be it. So take it down here. And the countdown is on. Three, two, and one. Oh. Breathing, we're just switching sides. So switching that dumbbell, switching over to the leg on the other side. Five seconds. Here we go in three, two, and one. Keeping that dumbbell close, keeping those hips square. 
One side generally tends to be easier than the other. And whenever I get to this side, I know that this is my more challenging side. I really have to keep focused on my balance here. Good. Keep that back flat. Especially <laughs> after the elevated glute bridges, the long lever glute bridges, everything is shaking. So to work a single leg Romanian deadlift is a challenge. Here it is, three, two, and one. Good, one more set. Whew. 15 seconds out. By the way, you are well over halfway through this workout, almost halfway through this circuit. All right, let's get ready. Leg out, dumbbell in front here, going in three, two, and one. Square up those hips and let's go. Nice job. Whew. Halfway. Good, almost there. Losing it. Counting it down here for three, two, and one. Oh, breathe. Nice job. All right, we are moving on now to a narrow heel elevated Romanian deadlift. So this is where if you've got your balance pods or anything like that, grab those and let's get ready for our heel elevated. We're gonna need two dumbbells. All right, so with this uh, narrow stance, you're gonna bring those legs in nice and close, raising those heels up if you're using your balance pods. Shoulders rolled down and back, and let's begin. Now both legs working here, down, good, and squeeze. Now with this elevated position, this is going to work a little bit deeper into the hamstring. So you will feel that almost immediately with the, this heel elevated position. Now, if your feet are just on the ground, I just want you to focus on that squeeze as you come up in the hamstrings there. Down, good, back flat, core engaged. Good, and up, almost there. This narrow stance also works deeper into those hamstrings as well. Good, this is three, two, and one. Breathe it out, rest it out. I'm just gonna hang out here because whew, this time goes by quick. All right, shoulders roll down and back. We go in five seconds. Last set for these. Going here in three, two, and one. So bring it down nice and slow. Good. Think about driving those hips to the wall behind you as your back stays flat. So that chest comes down parallel to the floor. You're driving those hips back. Slight bend in the knees. Good, and pull up. Whew. Nice, we're gonna have time for about one more. Here it is, three, two, and one, awesome. Now, we are going into a slow, low squat with a pause at the bottom, heels elevated. So if you wanna keep those heels elevated, you have the option to do that here as well. Grab your weights. You can keep them up on your shoulders or down by your sides. Going in three, two, and one. So follow my tempo as we go down slow. Take it slow. Four, three, two, one, pause it. Now back up, normal tempo. Good, now take it down slow. Slow, halfway here. Four, three, two, one, pause it. Up, good. This with the heels elevated, quad work. Extra quad work here, so take it low. Take it slow. <laughs> take it low and slow. And 
Hold it. Good, and up. Time for one more. Last one. Come on, down nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Hold it. Three, two, one. Up. Woo. Yep. There we go. One more set. And I would say one more set is about all the legs could take at this moment in time. <laughs> Final set. We're going to follow again this slow tempo with the hold. Going in three, two, and one. So take it down. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Keeping that chest up. Hold it. Hold it low. Now up normal tempo. Back down for slow. Eight, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. Take it up. Whew. Here we go. Down. Eight, six, four, three, two. Hold it. And up. Last one. Last one. Nice and slow. Come on, eight. Here's three, two, one. Hold it for three, two, one, and up. Oh, you are amazing. All about the abs now. Now I want you to keep just one dumbbell. This is gonna be for plank uh, dumbbell drag pulls. So, one dumbbell. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna keep my 15 pound out for that actually. We are done with our pods. We're gonna start out though, side plank with hip drop to knee pull. So this is a big combo move. You can keep this bottom knee bent as well. And so the plank will be um, bottom knee down, top leg out, and then we'll add that pull. Going here in three, two, and one. So lift it up, drop that hip. As you come back up, pull that top knee in. And down, good, down. Whew. Pull that knee in, back out, and down. Halfway, keep it up. Big time ab work today. Almost there. Up and squeeze. Come on, here it is. Three, two, and one. Breathe. I gotta dry off. Oh my goodness. All right, one more set like that. Then we'll switch it over. 10 seconds out, legs back out. We're gonna bring it up, get ready for that hip drop. So bring it up into side plank, going in three, two, drop it down, pull that knee. Nice, I know this one is tough. I, I promise you that, I feel the burn. I'm like, why did I put this exercise in? Why did I put it in? Well, let's see, super good for the obliques. Super good for that core stability. We're working the legs again here with this pull. So, <laughs> it might not be our favorite exercise, but we're gonna stay strong and we're gonna get it done. <sighs> Come on, we showed up. That's what it's all about. <sighs> Pushing through those hard times. <laughs> That's where that strength comes in. Here it is, three, two, and one. Switching it up, oh, other side. Two sets just like that. You know if you did it on that side, you can definitely do it on this side. So we're gonna get right at it. 10 seconds out. Again, that modification, that bottom knee is down. Whew, let's bring the hips up so we are ready to go. Hips are up. We're gonna start with that hip drop in three, two, drop it down, squeeze it up, pull that knee. And pull. Drive those hips up. Almost there. Whew. Here it is. Last little bit. We've got three, two, and one. Nice job. 20 seconds. One more set. Breathing. 
All right, 10 seconds. Legs back out. Final set here. Final 45 seconds of work for this exercise. Going in three, two, and one. Hips are up. We drop, we squeeze, and we pull. we're going to be feeling the abs tomorrow. Everything from the rib cage down, we're going to be feeling it tomorrow. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Nice. Now we've got the dumbbell, dumbbell drag pulls. With that, we're going to take that dumbbell out in front. We're going to be in plank, knees or toes. You've got the two different options. Dumbbell is going to be behind the hands. We're going to uh, take that arm cross body, pull the dumbbell, and then switch sides. Going here in three, two, and one. Now, What's really gonna help to work this core in this one is trying to keep those hips square and not moving that lower body. The only thing that moves is your upper body to drag that dumbbell from side to side. So try to keep everything else so still. Here it is, three, two, and one. Oh, nice, breathe. We're gonna do that one more time. I really do not know what has happened to my hair. I feel like it is everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's get into position. Dumbbell drags one more time. Here's three, two, and one. Remember, keep everything still. Just reach under, pull, and drag. Good. Remember, one exercise after this, so keep it strong. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, flipping it over. We have got a alternating cross body slow creep crunch. That's what I'm calling it. So we're gonna alternate sides, knee to elbow. As we lower back down, we slow the pace. So going here in three, two, and one, so crunch it up, cross body, now creep it down. Creep it nice and slow, nice and slow. Then we're gonna switch sides, all the way back down to that starting in three, two, and one. Cross body, creep it down, nice and slow. Whew. Back to that starting position, three, two, one. Up, hold it, creep it. Oh, creep. Three, two, one, here we go, up, and Nice and slow. Good, and up. Almost there. Last one up. Final little bit. Here it is. Three, two, one. One more set. And we have made it. Oh, this was intense today. Five seconds out. Oh, here we go. Three, two, and one. Cross it up, hold it. Now, slow. Good. And other side, up. Creep it out. Exhale as you're lowering back down. Good, other side. Up, meet that elbow to knee. And then slowly bring it back.
Nice and slow. Almost there. I think we got time. One more on each side. So here we go. Taking it back nice and slow. Whew. Last one. Here it is, down slow for three, two, and one. Oh, you have made it through legs and abs. Um, yeah, what, what, can, what can we say other than the quads, the hams, the glutes, and the abs have all been thoroughly worked. You are stronger because of it, and I am so glad that you pressed play. You are getting stronger, you are growing, and you are changing, and I am so excited that we could work out together today. Thanks for kicking butt with me. You are the bomb. Do not forget your stretch after this to help those muscles relax and increase your flexibility. It will feel so good. I love ya.